Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the films that I watched during the month of August, so stick around. So today I'm going to go over all of the films that I watched during the month of August. I was able to watch at least one movie a day. I was unable to get out to the theater this past month um, because of a very busy work schedule. Um, but I am thankful that I was able to watch at least one movie a day. I am going to be doing this um, in order by the date that I watched it. And I'm going to be using my Letterboxd account if you would like to follow along. I do have that link down below. So first up, <clears throat> hopefully I'll be able to remember um, these films. Um, because sometimes I have a hard time recalling it. But I will give you what my rating is and if I liked it or not. So first up, I watched The Owners. This right here was a first time watch. Um, I gave this one two stars and a like because I did enjoy what I saw. Um, the story was interesting. It had some good elements about it, but it did feel kind of low budget. And um, that's the reason why I gave it two stars. It wasn't terrible, but I am glad that I have it in the collection. The next um, film that I have got two stars also. It's called Retaliation with Orlando Bloom. Of course, on Letterbox, it's called Romans, um, which I'm not sure exactly what that's all about. This right here, I didn't care much for. I enjoyed the performance, but it had some really tough subject matter um, that I didn't really care for. And um, so that's the reason why I did it. But highly recommend that you at least check it out one time. Okay, next up, I watched Vivarium. This right here got half of a star. I did not like this movie at all. Um, very strange and weird. Um, not entertaining at all. I did not like it. Cannot I cannot recommend that one. Okay, next up, I watched Stepmom with Julia Roberts and um, Susan Sarandon. Really enjoyed Stepmom. I've, th I've seen that one many times before. This got three stars and a like. I've always loved this film and very happy to revisit it. It had been a while. My wife wanted to see it, so she watched it also. Just a really good story. Then the next day, I watched The Deep End of the Ocean with Michelle Pfeiffer. I had never seen that one before. Sonia watched it also. I gave that one and a half star, but I did like it, but it was a little bit too long, and the performances weren't that great. But still, I enjoy the film. Next up, I watched Vicious Fun. This right here, I gave two stars and a like. It was enjoyable. Um, it is about a group of people who are, um, I don't know, they're, they are killers. And it was very entertaining to watch all the different kind of kills. Story is pretty good. Felt a little low budget, though. Okay, next up, I watched Doomsday. I hadn't seen this one before, and I've had it in the collection. I wanted to check it out. Very action-packed. This one I gave two stars and a like. Two stars out of five, of course. Um, very action-packed. I enjoyed the story, and i um, so happy that I have that one. A new release that came out this month um, is River Wild. This right here got two and a half stars and a like. The story started off very slowly. Um, really thought it was going to be a bad movie. But once it got going halfway through, it, it really got going and it was great. I really enjoyed it. It felt a little low budget also. But the performances were good toward the end. Um, the middle to the end half. So definitely check this one out if you have the opportunity. It is streaming on one of the um, streaming services if you want to check that out. Okay, the next film I watched was Nefarious. It got a half a star. I did not like this movie at all. Um, it is about a guy on death row. It's going to be um, electrocuted, and I just did not like the story. It was really um, dull and dark. I didn't care much for it. It's about a demon, if you like that kind of stuff. Okay, next up I watched Enter the Dragon. This right here was a first time watch. Of course, this came out this month and I had never seen it before. I gave it two stars and I liked it. Um, a little bit slower than I thought it was going to be. Um, but overall, was, uh, I can see what the big hype is over it. 
Another new release for the month is Asteroid City. It got two and a half stars and a like. This one was different. I think visually it looked great. I enjoyed the way that it looked. The story was lacking. Um, and that's why it was kind of just a two and a half star deal. I wish there was more story to it. I, I wished I knew more what was going on. Um, but definitely check that out. And then next up I got, I watched Collection Questions. This right here was a documentary that was put out on DVD. And um, it came in this month. I ordered it and it came in. I watched it. Um, if you enjoy YouTubers talking about their collection and different aspects of collecting, um, definitely check out this documentary. Um, the next day I watched Yummy. This right here got two and a half stars and a like. This one is about plastic surgery and a, a mother and a daughter and her boyfriend that went to a, um, a rundown hospital to get some plastic surgery done and about some experiments where they were going on. Very entertaining. It did feel low budget, but had a lot of great um, segments in it. And I highly recommend you check that out. The next film I watched was Four Rooms. I gave this half of a star. I did not care for it. Didn't like it. It is a tale of four different stories with different directors doing each story. Different characters except for the uh, for the bellhop. And I don't know. I just didn't like it. I didn't care much for it. Not all the stories were entertaining. Um, so I, I would not recommend that one. Okay, next up, for the first time, I watched... The Mechanic. I had never seen this one before. Gave this three stars and a like. Very enjoyable. I would love to see a new release um, upgrade for this. Maybe even a, a 4K release. Really enjoyed it. Enjoyed the story. Excellent film. Um, and I really think that all the people involved were excellent. Highly recommend you check out The Mechanic. Okay, next up I watched Bloodfather. Bloodfather got Two and a half stars and a like. I really enjoyed this one with Mel Gibson. <clears throat> um, it is about a father whose daughter comes back after being um, gone for a while as a young child, up, I guess as a teenager up to a young adult, and the trouble that she's gotten into and him helping her out of that trouble. It's very entertaining. Lots of action. Okay, next up, I watched Patty Cakes. This is right here. I gave two stars. And a like. I really enjoyed this one. This one is about this young lady who is a rapper and um, her career, her trying to get out of her lifestyle from, I guess, I think it was, I want to say, that, I forgot where she lives at. I want to say Detroit, but I may be wrong. Um, but anyway, it's, it's a good dark comedy that I would recommend you check out. And since I saw The Mechanic for the first time, I wanted to go ahead and watch the sequel. I had Mechanic Resurrection. It's been in the collection since this was released. I just never watched it because I had never seen the original. Um, Mechanic Resurrection got two stars and a like. It did not... <clears throat> it wasn't as good as the first one because there was more element added to this one with a love interest. And it just wasn't very good. But it was enjoyable to the point to where I liked it. Um, but it, it did not live up to the first one. Okay, next up I watched Hangman. It got two stars and a like. I really enjoyed this one. This right here is a found footage film and a, a ghost type story. Really enjoyed it. Um, great performances. I loved it. It was creepy. It was um, based, it was inspired by true events. So that made it even better. Okay, next up I watched White Squall. It got three stars and a like. Um, <clears throat> this right here is a really Scott film with Jeff Bridges, who is a boat captain who takes on um, a group of young men to um, learn how to sail, I guess. And the um, this right here, of course, was based on a true story also. And the um, the first half of the movie was pretty slow, but the second half, where there was actually a lot of action, was really entertaining. I enjoyed it. Definitely check out White Squall if you've never seen it. Okay, um, 
next day I watched You've Got Mail. I had never seen You Got Mail before, and I finally watched it. I enjoyed it. It got two and a half stars and a like. It was enjoyable. Kind of not performed very well in my opinion. I didn't think that the performances were all there. I always expected more from this. But the next day I watched The Shop Around the Corner, which this story is kind of based off of. Uh, a, a movie from 1940 and it got four stars and a like. I loved The Shop Around the Corner. The story was very entertaining. A lot better than this story. This, not that this was bad, but The Shop Around the Corner it would definitely be my recommendation. And that's the good thing about this release is that it actually included The Shop Around the Corner. So if you do not have that in, in your collection, definitely check it out. Check out both of them. Next up, um, we have the new release for The Blackening. I watched that for the first time. I never did get to see this one in the theater. It got one star, and I did not care much for it. I was expecting more of a horror movie, <clears throat> and it was more of a comedy. I just couldn't get into it. I did not enjoy it. Probably needs another watch. Okay, the next one I watched got a half of a star. It is called Dogtooth. I did not know what I was getting into when I watched this film. It was weird and a lot of disturbing elements in it um, that I wasn't prepared for. I would not recommend anybody to watch Dogtooth. It didn't make any sense to me and was just weird. Speaking of weird and not making many, much sense, that was the next watch, Infinity Pool. I watched the unrated cut of Infinity Pool. I got the still book, but the still book came damaged, so it will not be showed. It will not be shown in this video. Instead, I'm showing this one, but um, Infinity Pool probably needs another watch. I gave it a half star. And I've heard that this is probably some people's favorite film recently, so I need to watch it again. I don't know. I guess I just didn't... I don't know. It was just weird. It might just need another watch. Okay, next up, I watched Lost After Dark. It got one and a half stars and a like. This right here is a slasher film um, based out of the 80s. Of course, it wasn't made in the 80s. This right here was made in 2014 but the way that it was styled and the way that it looked felt uh, felt like the 80s very enjoyable very enjoyable story highly recommend you check this one out um, like I said it got one and a half stars but I still liked it it got one and a half stars probably because of the poor acting that was probably why if I can remember correctly next up I watched Guns Akimbo this right here got two and a half stars and a like. I really enjoyed this one. It was action-packed. It's got Daniel Ratcliffe in it. Um, and very interesting story. Highly recommend you check that one out. Next up, we have We Own the Night. Three stars and a like. I love this film. Very well done. It's got Joaquin Phoenix and Mark Wahlberg in it. Um, and Robert Duvall. Really good crime story that I'd never heard of. I've had it in the collection all these years. I never watched it. I never hear anybody talk about this film. I would definitely recommend everybody check this one out. If you've never seen We Own the Night, check it out. It's great. Okay, next up, we I watched Yes Man with Jim Carrey. I'd never seen this one before. It gets three stars and a like. Excellent story. It's got Jim Carrey. And it's got... Um... I can't remember her I can't remember her name. Anyways, it's got her in it. Um but anyways, excellent film. I really enjoyed this romantic comedy. Um very good storyline. So check it out. Okay, next up I watched Come Play. It got two stars and a like. This right here's a, a horror movie, but it's got like a creature in it. It's got a bunch of child actors in it, um, which was, I think they did a pretty good job. Um, there were some good visual scares in it, good storyline, and a good message, I would say. So if you've never seen Come Play, I would recommend that one. 
And then the last film of the month, I watched Ghost Stories, which got two stars and a like. This right here is a story um, told... I don't know how to, to explain this, but it's, it's called Ghost Stories. So there are multiple stories based in one film, so they're not separate story. They, they are kind of separated, but it's all told together in one story. Um, it it was not the perfect movie. It wasn't great throughout the whole movie, but by the end I did enjoy it and enjoyed the way that it was told. Um, definitely check it out if you've never seen it. So those are all the films that I watched during the month of August. It was a busy month. I am thankful that I was able to watch at least one movie a day. Um, hopefully you enjoyed seeing what I watched. Hopefully you got some recommendations. But if you have any recommendations for me, I really would appreciate it. I would love to know what you would recommend that I check out during the month of September. But if you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.